Hello everyone tonight. I want to share with you a very important message related with this wonderful sign the Lord has granted in fulfillment to his promises. In this video you will understand and you will be led to a resource that will help you understand what the Bible implies in Revelation 16 and the chapter that speaks about the plagues that are to be poured out upon the world and the sixth plague in specific, which is the plague that talks about the preparation for Armageddon, a very important ba battle that is to be fought at the end of time. So in Revelation 16, it says, verse 12, And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. So we have published a video called the Great River Euphrates on our website, whitecloudfarm.org. And in that video, we explain in detail how this river Euphrates is going to be dried up in regards to what the prophecy says in Revelation 16 and what the significance of that is. Because this is a verse of about the plagues and, and it talks about the the purpose of the river drying up is that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And immediately after that, it speaks about unclean spirits speaking out of the mouth of the dragon and the beast and the false prophet. And this is a spirit of devils. And then it says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And immediately talks about gathering together for Armageddon. So this revelation that we share in the video, the great river Euphrates, is of uttermost importance for each follower of Christ, because this sign that the Lord has granted gives understanding not only of the time, but also of God's plans and purposes for us at this time. We live in a time where the Holy Spirit is striving with man just like it did uh, like he has always done since Jesus ascended to heaven and he came as the promised uh, representative of Jesus. And But the Bible indicates that there will come a time when the Holy Spirit will depart and then Jesus comes as King of kings and Lord of lords. And when the Spirit is not here anymore to withhold and retain evil in a it will flourish in a greater manner. And this is this is a really important implication for each follower of Christ, like I mentioned. Now, God does not change. And the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. And that he said, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? And it says that the father of lights there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. And God in Genesis 6 talks about how the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also he also is flesh, yet his day shall be in hundred and twenty years. At the point in time when at Noah's time God determined a time that will be given for humanity. And Noah was given a message that was going to be preached for the saving of the people, if they would listen, if they would listen to the message that God wanted to share with them. Now, God sent the flood at that time because it says, And God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And he repented the Lord that he had made, man on the earth, and he grieved him at his heart. Now, this is exactly what is happening in our time, and that's why the prophecy of Revelation 16 of the plagues is fulfilling, because the wickedness in the world has increased to a point where, like Noah's time, it is the appointed, God is showing through the sign the appointed time for the destruction of the earth, not, not this time by with water, but with fire, and God, just like he did at the time of Noah, sending Noah with a message 
and build an anarch of safety for all who would believe and enter. He is doing the same now. And this sign that we have been sharing for since already, since 2023 at the beginning of the year, this is the sign that God has designated as an ark of safety for now, for this time. But just like in Noah's time, he said that it would be 120 years. And at that point, the flood came and destroyed the earth. And the people that did not believe, which was most of the people, only eight souls entered into the ark. Just think about that. Now, God didn't want that to happen. But people chose not to believe. So now, with the sign that God is showing, he doesn't want it to happen in the same way that people don't believe and enter into the ark. But unfortunately, you know, we have been sharing this sign and through multiple ways on our website with articles and videos and explaining different prophecies that fulfilled through it. And we still don't see the many people wanting to learn more and to share it with others and their channels and their and the social networks. And we want it to happen just like it happened at the time of Noah. Now, recently I saw a short from this brother that says, the Lord says they ignored the sign that has already been given. And that's what we see happening. Now, God is saying this to him too, saying, okay, look, I have given a sign. I have made provision of understanding of the time so that you can walk in the light. And that's exactly what we desire for each person. So it, when you watch this video and you recognize the hand of the Lord and what he is showing through the sign, please do not hesitate to share with others. Please share the videos that we publish. They explain all the understanding in a way that can be shared with others and read the articles that we publish. This is what God is sharing with the world now so that people would have the understanding that is needed not to fall into the grip of the enemy, which, you know, the Bible says that he's like a roaring lion seeking whom he might devour. And we don't have to fall prey of him and join the wrong side of the battle, but we can have understanding of the time. So in this video, I want to invite you to prayerfully consider what I'm sharing because we are warning and we are sharing the understanding because that's what God has shown that would happen just like at the time of Noah. And we desire for everybody to enter into this ark of safety, understand it, what, how you can be strong and not be deceived. And Jesus said that many false Christs will come and will try to deceive. And if you don't know the time, that's like in Jerusalem, they did not know the time of their visitation, even though Jesus himself had come to the world. Now, his sign has appeared and is developing, but it has a time. It has a time when it will stop and Jesus will come as King of Kings. And our prayer is that he does not come as a thief for you, but that you know in the time are prepared and not just for yourself, but you're sharing with others so that many can be strong at this time and be ready for Jesus when he comes. So blessings to you as you listen to this message. And like I mentioned, visit our website and watch this video and you will not regret it. It has is a fascinating study that I share from the heart with you because it has touched my life. So blessings and let's work for the Lord at this time.